Hi, this is Mike Danseglio, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about network traffic and simulation with network traffic. We all know that there's value in testing with real network traffic, and there's value in testing with simulated network traffic. But there's very different approaches and very different tool sets and methodologies around doing the different types of network testing depending on how you want to do it and how realistic you want that test to be. For example, one of the major categories of network testing is to actually record a bunch of traffic on segments, analyze these to make sure they're relatively typical, and then play them back. So as you can see, I've got one of the most common network traffic recording applications up here. It's uh, Wireshark, and Wireshark is actually really, really commonly used. Network Monitor I've shown in previous demonstrations is actually the other most commonly used application, so I thought I'd balance it out. So I've got a brief capture here of a promiscuous network client on a network, and it's sniffing around, a lot of broadcasts, some, some SSL negotiations, you could see the different clients going on and so forth. So I might decide that this is a relatively good sample of what's happening on my network. But now what do I do with it? I can analyze it. I can figure out what kind of traffic is going on. But how do I play it back onto a test network? How do I isolate it and play it back out to see what happens to the infrastructure and maybe to amplify it by playing it 5 or 10 or 15 simultaneous threads? That's actually a difficult problem to solve. And the reason it's difficult is because the playback tools are not built into pretty much any of the commercial, the common commercial applications for network sniffing. You can record traffic, you can analyze traffic, you can output traffic to different types of things like Excel spreadsheets or, or reports, but you can't really just stick it back on the wire. So you tend to have to go hunt around and find attacker tools or hacker tools, shady companies, uh, individual people that actually put out these tools themselves often run at the command line you don't know what they're doing they're a little bit less confidence building to be honest than most of the other tool sets that are out there so while recording and analyzing is still an extremely valuable way to test a network playing back that traffic isn't always the best thing to do in the past we've also seen a traditional approach of acquiring a hardware-based network traffic generator and using that, sticking that on the wire and telling it to generate certain types of traffic. Here's the interesting thing about that, and I've got some pictures here I want to show you. Here are three very typical types of network traffic generating devices. I've removed the names so that you don't go out and hunt down who they are, but they're fairly easily found. These are devices that pretty much have a single purpose. They monitor the network and generate traffic. They're limited in that they are extremely hard to use. Most cases there's a really steep learning curve and they're terribly expensive. These devices often go into the six figures and between the difficulty in using the device, the difficulty in learning how to use the device, and the single taskness of the device, it really can only be used for one thing in your environment, I see very few people actually investing in this unless they're doing very, very broad worldwide network uh, implementations. So these, while interesting, aren't as interesting as some of the other tools that are out there. What's far more interesting are things around software traffic generation, software simulations, where software can actually come up and broadcast the traffic that you want based on certain configuration. I want 50% VoIP traffic, I want 25% file transfer traffic, I want 10% uh, image transfer traffic, I want 5% email traffic, and so forth. And being able to run a number of those commodity instances of the software traffic generation is probably the most useful approach that exists today. Blueprinting a network or, or finding out what's going on in the network and then actually generating a, a type of traffic pattern similar to that just exponentially larger until things break is the recommended approach. And I'm going to take, that through, take you through that in a future webcast where I actually show you bit by bit how to implement that. So this webcast is a little bit more about the things that you should be careful about investing in before you actually understand how to do the next bit, which is use the software simulation. 